Hey everyone, welcome back to Dev Parkour. In this video, I want to talk about why I chose Rust over Go, and actually, there's another language that I was looking at at the same time uh, called Zig. Um, both of them viable candidates, um, but ultimately I did choose Rust, and you can see that I, I, I actually made a video about why Rust is the language of the future, um, and got a lot of responses on it. Uh, I'm very happy with how that how that video performed and it's continuing to, to get views. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. I'll, I'll leave that linked in the video description. Um, but basically, when I was looking at, at uh, languages, um, I started on the functional side. I started looking at things like Haskell um, and um, I think I even looked at Erlang. But what I was really looking for was uh, compiled uh, language, which kind of uh, eliminated Erlang, Haskell was still in, I wanted it to uh, contain the ability to use functional uh, paradigms. I wasn't necessarily looking for a purely functional programming language, because um, to be honest, as much as I like the functional paradigm, I'm still very much an imperative programmer. I, the way I think about things, um, I kind of start at the top and work my way down, and there are various places here and there where I start thinking in, in terms of functional programming. So a language where I could kind of flip-flop between the paradigms would, would be perfect. Um, so I asked a few friends and Go and Zig were both recommended to me. Um, Go has a, a great community around it. There are a lot of people who really like Go. Um, there's definitely some fanboyism going on around Go. Um, you know, Go is awesome, Go use Go, it's fantastic. Um, but there were just some things that I couldn't, uh, they were hangups for me. I just couldn't, couldn't get around. The first one was that Go is garbage collected, and I really was looking for a language that wasn't garbage collected. I really wanted to find a language that uh, handled mem memory allocations and deallocations uh, statically and not at runtime. Um, Obviously, Rust fits the bill on that. Go does not. Um, this is kind of an interesting choice considering I, I, I like using C-sharp, which is garbage collected. Um, but I use C-sharp for very specific uh, scenarios where the garbage collected aspect doesn't really make as much of a difference. Um, the other thing, the other hang up I had with Go was some of the tooling just didn't, it didn't seem very helpful. It didn't, it didn't help me uh, when I was trying to build things, when I when I was trying to write code, uh, it, it wouldn't, it what it, it wasn't very helpful in indicating when I had something right, when I had something wrong. Um, so I was basically just having to write code, run the compiler, see what the results were, and then try to figure out what was going on from there. Whereas with Rust, um, I don't really have to run the compiler until I'm. Uh, you know, done, ready to actually run it. Um, the tooling is much better around it. The syntax checking is fantastic. Uh, and it, it, it's really been working for me. And finally, the, uh, the way, uh, goes code organization works, uh, with the go path and, uh, the, the way that it kind of expects your, your code repositories to be structured within your working directory. I already have a system that I use. I already have a system that I like. And there are lots of things that I'm writing that aren't in Go that I want all organized according to the same organizational structure. I don't want one organizational structure for Go and another one for everything else that I do. So that was, pardon the pun, a no-go for me. So basically, Go is out. So the other options were Zig and Rust. Zig, I'm really excited about, and I really want to keep an eye on, on Zig. Um, it looks like a cool language. It looks like uh, it fits most, if not all, of my criteria. But the one mark it had against it was that it's still a small, immature language um, that has a relatively small community around it. And that's not necessarily a, you know, that by itself is not a mark against it. Every language starts small. Every language has to build up its community from, you know, just a few people. 
totally fine with that. But if I'm going to build something that I want to be supported and to be able to find other people to help me with, I need to use a language that is fairly popular. Rust is fairly popular. I'm guessing not quite as popular as Go, uh, but certainly more popular than Zig. Um, the people who recommended Zig to me are people who co commonly and frequently go out looking for new programming languages, try them out, and, and that's what they do. They want to learn new programming languages. If I went to a lot of my coworkers who are very happy with the one language that they've been working with most of their career and ask them if they've heard of Zig, I'm willing to bet that I would get a resounding no. They may have heard of Rust, they've probably heard of Go, but they, I, I would bet that they have never heard of Zig. I didn't, I had never heard of Zig until about a year ago. Uh, but again, Zig looks interesting. I'm excited to see where it goes. And if it, if it really takes off, I'm more than happy to use it. It's, it looks like it's got its ducks in a row. It looks like it's a fantastic language. Uh, it looks like the improvements that it's making are, you know, in, in a reasonable direction. Um, so if, if Zig takes off and becomes wildly popular, more than happy to start using it. So that really meant that Rust was, was the language, was my language. Um, I don't think I mentioned Haskell too much. Haskell, I just couldn't wrap my head around. It seemed um, a little bit obtuse for what I was trying to do. And it could just be that I, I'm not very much of a fun functional programmer. I haven't done a whole lot of FP. Um, I really want to like Haskell. I, I, I like the concept of functional programming and I, I would like to do more with it. Um, but Go, uh, sorry, Rust was kind of a gentler uh, learning experience for me because I could use imperative paradigms and then start jumping into uh, the functional paradigms when it made sense. So this is just a quick video on why I chose Rust over Go and Zig. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell and leave a comment or a question if you have either of those. Uh, I really enjoy reading them, really enjoy responding to them, and I uh, want to start a discussion with all my videos. So feel free to uh, you know, help me out with that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.